Now, June the 12th is undoubtedly a memorable day in Nigeria's political history. Our question for today was spurred by calls that a day be made in Nigeria's Democracy Day. Let's now join Wali Fakile for more. Thanks. Now, the first Nigerian presidential election after the 1983 military coup was held on June 12, 1993. Uh, Moshut Kashima Wabiola, globally known as MKO, defeated Bashir Tofa in the vote. Uh, but the election, uh, judged Nigeria's most credible till date, was cancelled by military ruler Ibrahim Babangida. Now, critics therefore argue that June 12 should be made Nigeria's Democracy Day and not May 29. Although Ogun, Lagos, Oshun, and Oyo states have made the day a public holiday, the federal government has ignored the agitations. But as another June 12 becomes, we ask today. Now, do you think calls that June 12 be made Nigeria's Democracy Day are valid? Now, this matter has spurred tremendous interaction on our social media platforms. So let's look at some of the responses we received. And we start off on Twitter where Shitu Aziz Shegu says, June 12 is the best date to celebrate democracy in Nigeria because it's the foundation which democracy was built on. Uh, the next one is from Olufemi Odulajao says, it's not an argument. For me, it is democracy day, either in denial or acceptance. That is, either you like it or not. Move on to Ibrahim Lekon Jibril says, we have too many holidays already. However, June 12 remains symbolic and unforgettable. Now, I presume, Ibrahim, you will be going to work tomorrow since there are too many uh, public holidays. Move on to Teslim Lukman Tayo says, yes, I think June 12 is the real democracy day. May 29 is just handover from military rule to civilian regime. Rest in peace, MK Wabiola. Uh, the next one is from Yilin Umojo on Facebook who says, in the first place, what significance does May 29 hold in the history of Nigeria? And our June 12 holds much in history. That's Democracy Day for me. Very well said, Lynn. Uh, Chuku Michael says, in as much as democracy was not attained or spearheaded on that day, it is totally irrational to regard it as Democracy Day. Uh, now, as the saying goes, different strokes for different folks. We move on to Felix Umokoro says, regarding June 12 or May 29, as Democracy Day shouldn't be a bone of contention as the dates do not bring any benefit to Nigerians. Do you agree with um, Felix? Let's move on to Akiwumi Joshua who says, former President Olusha Gwabasujo made uh, May 29th Democracy Day to take the shine off June 12 because of the personality involved. That is MKO Abiola. Uh, very next one is from Solomon Solo Style says, it's not about Democracy Day or declaring the public holiday, rather the legacy of MKO should be upheld. Hmm. And those were some of the many comments posted on our social media pages. If your comment wasn't read, go to our Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash television continental and our Twitter handle at TVC underscore ENT. You will find yours amongst others there. Uh, to connect with us on YouTube, just search for TVC Entertainment. All our programs and news bulletins are showing live at www.tvcontinental.tv. So log on and watch. I'm Wale Fakile. Let's continue the conversation online.